I'm Dr. Angela Katwa and welcome to my new YouTube series called Where on Earth Do You Live? Now if you're sitting at home in this lockdown period, have you ever wondered what the rocks are underneath your house or flat? Those rocks have a hidden secret locked inside and over this new YouTube series I'll be revealing some of those stories to you about where you live. Rocks are like time machines. By revealing their hidden secrets, you can tell amazing stories about what this earth used to be like hundreds of millions of years ago. Let's kick off with the first part of this series and I'm actually going to go back and visit the place where I used to live, which is Slough. So let's kick off with my top three facts all about Slough. Fact number one, Slough was made infamous in the poem called Slough by Sir John Betjeman. Sir John Betjeman was railing against a massive modernisation sweeping across the country in the 50s and the 60s. Ancient buildings, old historic houses were being bulldozed to make way for new and innovative buildings and Slough epitomised this at that time. In his now famous line, he said, Come friendly bombs and fall on Slough. It isn't fit for humans now. I'll be honest, I tend to disagree with that line. I mean, I grew up in Slough and I loved the building, so you can't blame me, can you, for being a little bit biased. My second fact that you may not have known was that the famous astronomer Sir William Herschel lived in Slough. It was there that he built a huge telescope and in 1781 discovered the planet Uranus. My third and final fact is that Slough is home to the headquarters of Mars, that famous company that makes that delicious chocolate bar that we all know and love. So that's the social history of Slough. It's fascinating, isn't it? but not quite as fascinating if we go back in time two million years back to the Ice Age. Hello again. You're probably wondering why I'm wearing all this get up for cold weather. It's like I'm going to go out into a blizzard. But if I was in Slough two million years ago, it would have been like that. It was right in the middle of the Quaternary period and the rocks right under the houses in Slough, they're known as the Langley Silt Member. And I know that's a really weird term for a layer of rocks, but these rocks were being deposited in an environment just off the edge of an ice cap which was covering most of the United Kingdom. In this cold, dry wasteland, winds coming off the ice cap would have whipped up the fine-grained dust and blown it across the landscape and it would have formed these large sequences of what we call aeolian deposits. These are wind-blown fine-grained particles that then accumulate together to form large sequences of sedimentary rocks called siltstones. Now this landscape wasn't just interesting geologically, it was full of really fascinating creatures and animals too. Now you have to stretch your imagination here a bit. Imagine you're in Slough High Street two million years ago and you're walking down the street and you came to face with a woolly rhinoceros. That is absolutely what you might have seen because the fossil records indicate that these creatures were swarming over this vast tundra landscape at that time. Now the woolly rhino was perfectly adapted for this cold, dry climate. Its entire body was covered in thick, shaggy fur to keep it warm during those cold days and nights. The animal was colossal. It weighed about two to three tonnes and stood about two metres tall. So it would have been quite a force to be reckoned with if you met it whilst you were walking round Slough two million years ago. Even more frightening, it had two horns on the front of its head, which would have scared off any predators that would have tried to attack it for food. Other creatures that would have lived during the Ice Age at this time that would have roamed across where Slough is today include mammoths and hyenas and even bears. And it's really quite extraordinary to think that this landscape once existed and is recorded in the rocks under your house if you live in Slough. So if you're lucky enough to live in Slough or you're passing through, have a think about what it might have looked like two million years ago and the creatures you might have had to have faced. Because now you know where on earth you live if you live in Slough. <laughs> 